Hello and welcome to Patch. I'm your host, Paul James. Today I'm joined by Meadow Phillips and the Eshe, Damo Camilleri. <laughs> yeah, she went with the Eshe. I was going to be like, two bandana dang, dames or whatever, but whatever. We're getting oh, in the Christmas spirit. Damo's gone with uh, red and green and, and white. Just, in an interesting my, head, my head is just too shiny. Yeah, the we light's need, reflecting about it. We need, need more. More coverage. Just... Yeah, here we go. Looking sharp. <laughs> and an Eshe. But, uh... It is our final patched episode for the year. Uh, it's our updates episode, so we're going to be talking about all the games we've been playing over the course of the last month. We'll maybe discuss a little bit of what we'll play over the, the upcoming break. Um, but who wants to get the ball rolling? Well volunteered, everyone. I'll do it first. Um, Ooh. I don't normally Ooh. go first, but uh, in the absence turn of the volunteers... Turn the place upside down. Paul never likes to come first. I mean, go first. Yeah. But we'll leave that alone. Uh, so, for me, I mean, there's a there's a few games that I've that I've done reviews for on the Player Two website. So I won't go into a huge amount of depth for those, just because if people want, we want my you full to go thoughts, to the site, go to the site. <laughs> um, but we did discuss last time that I'd started playing Sackboy Big Adventure. Really, really awesome platform, like built on the the whole Little Big Planet sort of idea, like Sackboy from Little Big Planet. Um, but the game's awesome. Like an awesome platformer, kind of like um, Mario 3D World from the Wii U that you know no one played because it was on the Wii U. Um, it's a really, really great platformer. So, so go check out the review for that one. Um, Godfall, I also played that really mediocre kind of hack and slash <laughs> thing. That look, the the gameplay is cool, the game looks stunning, but then you see the same environments and do the same things for ten hours without anything at all to kind of change things up or moment uh, the momentum or anything. So it it grows tiring pretty quick despite the fact that the core idea is actually pretty rock solid uh and then wildfire which i reviewed it's a local game developed by dan hines um he actually was just on dev diary last week but uh there's a review for the game up on the site so go check that out as well the ones that i haven't provided any coverage for and i i'm sure there's gonna be some crossover with the both of you for some of these games uh first one is horror warriors age of calamity on the switch you, uh, I, I know, Matto, you played the demo. Demo, you were already you, you were waving your copy around. I think the last time um, we did an the updates episode. Mate. So I'm really mate enjoying point. it. Like I'm only doing in little chunks. Like it's just uh, the the luxury of the switch. How I was telling you guys just before we even started recording today that like I had baby strapped to chest as I'm kind of bouncing her to sleep and just playing the switch at the same time and trying to you know hack and slash through. Wait, it's, hang it's on, an easy wait. game for that. I just remembered something. You revived your Switch? No, no. So the... Oh, did, have we discussed this on the show yet? I don't, I think don't have. know. So, no, no. So the Switch itself's okay. Firstly, the Switch itself's okay. It's one of the docks that's dodgy. And okay, listeners, uh, story time. Oh, yeah. Uh, so one of one of the girls from work had commented that her uh, son's Switch wasn't working and be, me being the, the kind of games guy, bring it into Paul and he'll see if he can fix things up. So she brought it in and I kind of messed around with her switch and the dock and, and nothing was working. So I thought, I'll duck home because I only live five minutes from work. So I'll, I'll duck home and I'll go and get my switch and my dock and kind of, you know, bounce the switch around and see what, see what can happen. Uh, well, I got to work. I plugged my switch and my, uh, my dock into a, a monitor I had at my desk. Everything worked okay, just as it always does. I then take uh, the, girls from, uh, the girls from work, her son's switch, put it in my dock. It doesn't work. I'm like, okay. Must be an issue with the switch. I then, after experimenting with a few different things, I then eventually go to put my switch back in my dock just to, yeah, okay, everything should still be working. And suddenly my switch is not displaying through that dock either. This this dodgy switch of her son's is, uh, and, and I discovered after the fact, after <laughs> mine had already been bricked, uh, that th this switch is bricking docks. Every dock it goes into, it's just killing him. So... Um, <laughs> God, uh, subject switches. zero. I've never heard of anything like this, but it's it's like the COVID of switches. Um, just anything it interacts with, it's boom, done. Maybe not dead like in COVID, but in the case of COVID, uh, sorry, in the case of the switch, but yeah, there's similarities anyway. So yeah, uh, I've got a dodgy switch dock that I haven't actually replaced yet, but we've got a second one in the house, so that'll get me through for now. Um, but yeah, Age of Clement is awesome though. I'm loving it. Is it to Nintendo though? They're really good. I'll get it back to you pretty quick. They've they've broken up for Christmas break. Oh yeah, I'll have but... to try them after the new year. We'll hit up PR yeah. and see if there's anything they can do to help. But 
we'll see what we can, we'll see what happens anyway um but the game the game itself is pretty awesome i don't know have you two been playing much of it i know again yeah, Dave, yeah. You, you've got it but Matto, did you actually pick up the final product or did you just play the demo no, i've got the previous game just haven't played it yet oh yeah right you've been playing link's awakening yeah oh yeah but that too being completely lost in that game too stupid owl it's <laughs> unhelpful <laughs> god ever yeah i mean i'm still in the early stages of age of calamity like i've been going around dealing with the i've been meeting up with um all the like the key cast i'm still kind of in like chapter two and i'm just but it, it's a good game to just kind of you got half an hour great i'll just bash out one level of this or i'll i'll knock off a few points around the map and just do some of those little smaller objectives based on the things that i've collected while i've gone which is which is kind of good and i'll i'll I think i'll just continue to just chip away at it over time um i've also been playing the pathless which is a launch title for the ps5 it's an indie title um from the team who did abzu really kind of minimalist thing it's a bit like i oh know i guess there's kind of a breath of the wild sort of thing going on about it except they don't have shit features like stamina and uh weapon <laughs> degradation and all that sort of stuff um it, it's kind of got that visual style but then it's it's kind of this fast paced there's kind of a shadow of the colossus sort of vibe with it as well in some respects you got to take out about four different giant beast things that'll then it's all narrative based so i don't want to spoil too much because basically anything's just a spoiler for the game but really really awesome um i was just going to play it of my own accord but i think i'll probably end up knocking out a review for that on the website as well I've started recently playing immortals phoenix rising so the the ubisoft game that is also kind of a bit like breath of the wild and doesn't have uh, weapon degradation. Does have stamina. That's not great, but um, but doesn't have weapon degradation. I like that. The reason I'm playing that though is because, and Matto, I think you're at least with me on this one. Um, I think uh, I'm playing Immortals because I've dumped uh, Cyberpunk 2077 for now. Ah, oh, oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. <laughs> I haven't been one of those that's gone and, um, you know, seeking a return or any of that sort of thing. I'm, I'm happy to keep it because I know, I, what I know is that based on all the reviews on the PCs, that the game is good. It's just on consoles, it's a buggy mess. Um, so I'm just in no hurry. Like, okay, like it, I'm, you know, because I'm playing it on a PS5 versus people who are just playing on PS4s, so I'm having a better, a better experience than, than anyone who's playing it on the last gen thing because of that little bit of extra overhead that the PS5 has power-wise, it's kind of helping to make sure that the frame rate doesn't drop and all those sort of things. But the bugs are still an issue. Um, I haven't had any crashes, but I, like, I'm just hearing enough of these stories. I'm like, I'm sc- and then they've outlined that they've got a pl- they've got patches lined up. There's one that came out earlier today, as of when we record this. There's another one for ja- another big one for January, another big one for Feb. And I'm like, well, if you're planning to have the game pretty close to the way you want it by the end of Feb, firstly, you should have released it then. But secondly, um, I'll just wait till Feb. So it's an opportunity to go and play Immortals and and jump into Assassin's Creed Valhalla afterwards and all those sorts of things. So I've started Immortals. I've only put like an hour, hour and a half in it up to this point, but I'm really enjoying it. It's got a real cool sense of like style and personality. It does kind of knock off Breath of the Wild's visual look a little bit, <laughs> but then it's it's that combined with the, the Ubisoft kind of Assassin's Creed style formula. Um, so I'm really enjoying that one so far. But yeah, Cyberpunk, um, that's that's a damn shame. But I'm kind of sick about talking about that game, so I don't. Um, as a, as a general rule, Matto, do you have any? Uh, have you played Cyberpunk yet? Have I played Cyberpunk? Yes, I have. <laughs> all, all I can say is the story of it is good. I think the story is great. Keanu Reeves' role in it is great. So you've got everything else about it. Then. Everything else about it is just awful. Go That's a expand. nice way to say it. Well, there's this nice big city, right? You think, oh, cool, there'll be a lot of life in the city. There's <laughs> nothing. There's like three people three people on the street. It, there's like Which two cars. Which is not cars. an issue on the PC version, by the way. So they've scaled oh, back for consoles, but... Oh, great. That's I can see... That's Yeah, it doesn't help me. And then you got your, your perks... Or your little skill upgrade. One of them's the stupidest thing ever, where you get the ability to use throwing knives. Only problem is, you don't get throwing knives, and the knives you do get as weapons, you throw it, you kill them, you don't get that knife back. <laughs> no. So you could buy like spend like five hundred dollars or whatever on one one knife, use it, that's it. 
Knife God. That's kind of trash. It is. But I haven't even gotten that far to explore that sort of thing. Like, I haven't met uh, Johnny Silverhand yet, so... Oh, that or part's Keanu good. Reeves. Oh, and just uh, the look of it, I would honestly say there are Xbox 360 and PS3 games that look better than Cyberpunk on the console. Yeah. I know, that's, I know that's really harsh really harsh to say, but it kind of does. You just look at it visually and go, this is awful. Yeah. And, and then, then you also have the parts of people's faces not loaded, so they just look like old bare face. Yeah. No, and it's a massive kick in the teeth when like you're you've bought it on a console, you've paid just as much money as someone on a P- on the PC has to buy it. And yet the PC gamers, especially if they've got like their you know, as at least a high end sort of PC. It doesn't have to be very top of the line. You don't need to be, you know, slug uh, lugging thirty eighties around like some people are, but um like if you've got a fairly decent PC, the game looks amazing. And on console it's just a dog's <laughs> breakfast. For the most part. Again, if you've got the luxury of playing on a PS5 or a Series X, it, it is a bit better. But it's still just a PS4 or Xbox One game that's just got slightly sharper details. The frame rate isn't an issue. Otherwise, it's still kind of shit. So I'm kind of hoping... Yeah, I was trying to scratch my head on it. I was trying to scratch my head because I saw the reviews for it. There was 90 on Metacritic. I was scratching my head going, this doesn't make sense. Only to realize that's the PC version's rating. I yeah. switched it over to like the PS4 and Xbox. It's getting yeah, smashed. in the 50s. I thought, ah, that's the rated I was looking for. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of getting smashed on on consoles, and it should. Um, we're not doing a review of Player Two for it because uh, we made that decision before before the launch, simply because we got it. We were going to get a code on day one, and then it's like a 60 hour game, so uh, you know thereabouts. So to ask someone to try and review it in a fairly short timeline was gonna be kind of harsh so we decided not to we started preparing a range of different features but even then we've delayed those to next year because shit's not working for people uh, it's, a, it's amazing what seven days can do as well to a, to a company who from, is day, of, from day of release to uh, yeah sorry the console version's bad we'll give you refunds and all this stuff it gets taken uh, taken off the playstation store Ooh, Big W have to put a note up saying, "Ah, come to the counter if you want this game." It's just uh which is clear. Like we're going to warn you that this shit's broken. Uh, this, this, this game isn't working properly. Do you still want it? And a it's an R-rated just, game. Like, Your kids don't need it. Straight up destroying copies that they see. Yeah, the whole thing's insane. I, I and again, this is a company that was basically untouchable um, after The Witcher Three, and now because uh, it's the best game of the generation The Witcher 3 as far as I'm concerned um, no I'm not going to have a Breath of the Wild dig um, this time uh, it's the best game of the generation as far as I'm concerned I, and I can't believe that this comes from the exact same team well not the exact but you know the, sa- the same team with a lot of the same people the team that put out The Witcher 3 it's fucking crazy we'll, we'll, I think we the other thing is too very very quickly like because we we could get, we could shit on this all night. Oh, apparently, everyone already is. Apparently, so. apparently, but what did I say? What did I say when we were seeing this? Is it going to be too much of a good thing? And I was right. So, suck eggs, people. <laughs> Didn't have PCs, to run it, <laughs> right? And no, and I'm not gonna. I'm not just defending the company here. Everybody's at fault there. Everybody. Oh, the media is the worst the people, one. One of the worst ones. The, the people that has asked for it to be pushed after they said we should delay it, the the the, the people that did review it, Paul, the people that actually went out and reviewed it, and only you know were allowed to review it on PC that didn't say, hey, this is a big fucking red flag for all you console gamers out there. This is how it's running on my PC. Fucking, what do you think it's how it's going to run on the console? And no one's allowed to review it on console. Big red flags, you know, and you know to the people that. I just straight up hand, demanding their money back for a game that's like in a year's time. Like I get it, No Man's Sky, another prime example of this shit. But, no Man's Sky just literally won like best ongoing game of the game award. awards last week. Like, well, that's what I mean. It, it's not even the same game. Is it apparently was starting at, to come re- good. At, at release, but it's. I mean, there's going to be a video by the internet historian on YouTube about this shit show, and it's just you're gonna we're gonna look back at it. And look at everybody's angle and just go, dick, 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 dick. Like it's so. 
Mano, you can say everything. I've watched my friend play it on his PC. It looks incredible. It works fine. The game looks pretty great when it's running and you can do missions and stuff. Some of the timed events, everything. I was like, oh my god, this is incredible stuff. But like, um, they should have just launched it on PC and consoles next year. Yeah, if man. that was if that it's, was where they were, they should have just done something like that. But Paul, done the other way before. Sex, console, then money, PC. And sex, money, power, and drugs rule the world, and that's all in cyberpunk. And they were grinding <laughs> up. <laughs> they were grinding up Sorry. those discs with the money, the hundred dollar notes people were sending them to be like, and release the game. They were like. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's why they were profitable Andrew. before the game and then, came out and then they exactly. said we want a refund it's like oh shit <laughs> we, we've snorted it sorry that's it <laughs> also no, no. Ubisoft's probably sign of relief there because no one's going to remember Assassin's Creed Unity and how well that launched oh no we'll oh, forever <laughs> hold the banner on that one like <laughs> you've made it in and the worst think games Punk you bastards yeah, Cyberpunk yeah, might well, become the, the first one that people think of. Even Mass Effect and Andromeda might get off the hook a little bit now. I mean, everyone else is going to take a, a step down, but I'm sure, I'm sure eventually Nintendo will release something that's buggy and people will be like, Metroid oh, Other M on the Wii. That's like the only thing that they've ever put out that's had a bug in it, and that was a case of like you had to send your, uh, your <laughs> Switch, yeah. sorry, your, your Wii over to Nintendo for them to un. Do a mistake. I was going to say the Superman game. There was a, there was a whole game missing off that. Well, yeah. <laughs> a bug. Yeah, the you know, bridge One. console. One. That's great. <laughs> That's thing. That's fine. But like people just don't care enough about Metroid. Like I'm waiting for like that big no, other game. like a Mario, like a Mario game that like Mario's like you know, or drowned Ben effect. Creepy pasta shit happens in a Nintendo game. Everyone's like, <laughs> or he has nipples. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, nipples>. Oh. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Matto. If you've got more, yeah. What, what else have you been playing, Matto? Because those those were right. Let's, anyway, get, so. right, right let's get off the let's get off the whole cyberpunk thing because this Thank could God. go on for days. <laughs> so while I was waiting for my Ooh. cyberpunk game to download, I decided to play some <laughs> Destiny Two Ooh. to start with. And you you regularly talk about your internet being on the slow side. You're downloading a hundred gig game and then still had some bandwidth to play Destiny Two yeah, online as well. Yeah, there's a re- there's a reason why for that too. I'll get to that later. But I played that for a good three hours, uninstalled it. I've never been so bored in my entire life. <laughs> played that game. <laughs> then <laughs> I thought, this is harsh. This is a harsh, good hey, we'll, get, we'll get there. So then I decided to play some F1 2019. For just have a nice, relaxing driving game. <laughs> <laughs> but it was also too that I thought, since Codemasters again purchased by EA, I thought I better play a good uh, Codemasters game before it turns to shit when it goes yeah, to EA. Yeah, good, good, good. I like a lot. See what a real game looks like before I have to start purchasing the stuff. Just before and after. But, but the real reason why I was what Destiny Two was downloading that hundred gig game was because. I was playing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Hey, nice. Now, oh, yeah. that shit's now this was a game. This was a game that I thought, oh, I don't know if I'll enjoy it or not because of the whole Dark Souls soul, Dark Souls feeling. Yeah, I was wrong about that. It is my favorite game of the year by a long way. That's awesome. I, I oh, love I've that never had so much year. fun in a Star Wars game because it sort of felt like a bit like Metroid Prime feel as well because there's like certain areas yeah. you can't go to unless you unlock that ability and when you get that two lightsaber ability oh man that opens up stuff for you oh man shit gets real after that yeah Ooh. i mean the game's kind of dark soulsy but it's also a metroidvania and then it's just an awesome star wars game on top of it. it's like the perfect combination of all of them yeah it's just it's that shock of like ea and a good star wars game yeah, but it had to be respawn. That doesn't make sense. Oh, uh, yes, respawn, saving EA's ass once again. again. Who do one, one company just saving <laughs> one big company? Good yeah, on you, it, respawn. And even that, like yeah, exactly how Amazon functions. <laughs> yeah, like they <laughs> they saved their ass with Apex. They saved their ass with uh, Jedi Fallen Order. They continue to save their ass with Apex again throughout the course of this year. There was Titanfall before all of that, and then they went and dropped Medal of Honor for VR last week as well. Um, and apparently that's 
pretty decent, even though it's like a 300 and something gig download. What was that for? Medal of Honor, the new one, Above and Beyond for VR. Oh, wow. VR. But yeah, power, 300 gig? Power, it's like 300 gig. There goes gig. your old PS5. That's which your is, PS5 hard drive gone. Yeah, which is crazy because like if you've got an Oculus Quest, like even the brand new one, I think the, the biggest capacity on it is 256 gig, so you can't even fit the game on it. That sucks. I, I think there's something about like it comes in at like 300, but then it's actually like half of that because it's, I don't know, packets and all that sort of weird shit. But um, still don't know how you're supposed to be able to fit it on there. So whatever. Good one, and then, guys. And then today, because it came out, I think. Oh, not today. Yeah. Donkey Kong Country 3. Yes. Oh, what a wonderful game that is. Donkey Kong. I haven't oh. started yet, but I will. Just playing that just bring back brings back all the memories of thinking, how do I still remember all this stuff? A lot of people for a game shit on I haven't game, played. It's awesome. Twenty years. I actually, like I actually prefer it better than two for some reason. I don't know oh. why. That's maybe because cool. it has maybe because it has no honey levels. That's why I hate those honey that. levels. Honey levels aren't great. Are the worst. But hey, fight me. No, I'm with you. I'm keen, but, to pl- uh, I'm keen to play it the, for the playthrough for the YouTube channel as well. So, And my final game that was Cyberpunk that I've moved on to now from Cyberpunk is Control. Oh, nice. Oh, Another good 2019 game. Yeah. That's a good game. I, I wasn't expecting. I thought, oh, yeah, some suspenseful thing. Then you get the force and start throwing stuff. I thought, oh, I like this. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, big fan of it. Yeah, I, I, sort of, I think it just sort of surprised me because you did say, oh, it's a good game. I thought, I'll, I'll believe Paul on this and go and buy it. There was your first mistake. It was, a, it, was, <laughs> it, was a good, it was a good purchase. I'm not the ultimate edition, I believe it was. Oh, so you can, when you get a PS5 or Series X, you can just upgrade it on that? Oh, it'll have to be a PS5 then. Yeah. Oh, you're playing it on PS4? Okay. I want to see something on the, on the tele the other day. They talked about Christmas presents all the way it's like the brand new consoles they're hard to get but get your kid a controller I thought what's the bloody point of getting the kid a controller <laughs> if you can haven't played the damn system here you go Sony's a PS5 controller here's a Sony PS5, you get your, I'm you, never gonna you buy get your you PS5 in a expensive. year or so here's your Sony controller mate just look at here's it here's your Sony controller time. don't ask any questions <laughs> but dad it works with my Nintendo Switch shut up shut up son <laughs> Damo, what about you, man? What have you been playing? That's me done. Well, it was a quiet month or so, whatever the... <laughs> I feel like it's been forever yeah, last since we've done an update. Um, yeah, it was a quiet one because even though I wasn't playing a video game, and this isn't a video game, I just feel like this belongs in updates. I started Played the watching game The life. Mandalorian. Whoa, calm your tits. The Mandalorian, okay? People, relax. It's a good show. No spoilers. Um, through Got through season one, right? It's good. It's good. If I see any more people... And this is the new Game of Thrones, which is annoying me, that people, like, after the episode's done, are like, oh, my God, did you see... And I'm like, I don't... I'm not... I'm not that demanding of a consumer for this show. It's a great show. I'm great. Right. Very grateful that Marvel is fun. I mean... The Disney. Star Wars is Disney. being... No, Star Wars is being Marvelized. Oh yeah, okay, right. Universal, oh, yes. Universal sense, like you've got a Soka, the Bad Batch, the. Oh yeah, with all those Hunt, movies and TV Solo. series. Solo, yeah, it's great. It's really Kenobi. great. Kenobi. Yeah, it's awesome to see because oh, I'm not going to even get dive into that, but it great. It was great because there was this fantastic tweet that someone was like, "Why did they just make a Mandalorian game? They totally have to do that," and the. People that were working on 1313, is it? Yeah, Star Wars 1313, the one that got cancelled. Turned around and went, yeah, we did. It was cancelled. <laughs> it was just this perfect tweet. Like, just that's all it said. And people were like, oh, shut Yes, bring it back. And, you know, it's great because this is, this hopefully, and that's why it's in my updates, because hopefully we get that game. Because that did look incredible. Oh, 30 like 30 this... was looking amazing. Oh, From this... what little we saw, of course. Like, it could have been a shit show yeah. behind the scenes. Ah, it, it, would it be, though? Like, everything was in order for that well, to be... Well, that's usually why a game gets cancelled, because it's not working. 
well, it was cancelled because Disney brought out LucasArts and cancelled everything. They were like, we're oh, yeah, doing yeah, I the can't movie. I can't remember the exact timing, but I'll take your word for that. Yeah, we're yeah, doing the like, movies. Right. Everything else fucks off. Like, hey, we're, we're focusing on... Hey, those on games you've all been making, right? Yeah. Stop They're it. gone. But this one's 90% fish. Gone. Yeah, books. What was it? Books. Here, uh, here you go, EA. Yeah, all the fan fiction, all books, the books. Books, yeah. comics, everything. Gone. Like, that was it. Disney wanted to start fresh. They shot themselves in the foot, gave it to EA, made Battlefront 2. It was terrible at the beginning. But... Whatever we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna move on to something fantastic, which is getting. So we're just impact. taking punches. At, we're just uh, taking oh, shots at everyone tonight. Yeah, we're not missing. This is good. No, oh, no, I'm no, no, no. That's it. That's the only punches are done because we're moving on to Genshin Impact, which is fantastic. And I was able to convert someone, one of my friends, to play it. And we're both. So my friend, one of my. So I've got three people now in my life playing Genshin, and one of them, as a Christmas present, was like, "Here, I'm gonna buy you this, this, and this." Like Merry Christmas! I'm like, oh, that's that's awesome. Oh, it's the Genshin like thing. So putting a little bit of money into that game goes a really, really, really far away. But the thing is, not putting any money into it, I still had, like, in my one month or two and one and a half months of playing, I had a baller of a time, and I was able to do everything in that game. Like there was nothing that yeah, I had I've heard to a lot of and go, oh, do I need, I need to pay for this? If you really, really want a character, yeah, you might have to drop some money or a really want a weapon or, you know, mid max and everything like that. But yeah, you can get you by have without to it. Pay. Yeah, because it you you log in, and you get thing. You do five little missions each day too. Like you like get dailies, a hundred yeah, like a hundred primo gems or whatever like that. It was something like I think it works out to be, oh, two hundred primo gems or whatever like that. It's like a thousand. 1,600 to get 10 rolls to like get more characters but it's like is it 200 or something to get one a single roll so you know you, you buy 10 get a big discount or whatever I don't come I don't yeah I'm with you I'm with you the, uh, yeah I don't know the numbers I haven't played it yet but I, I have heard they've been really generous but that is and like you know obviously new games come out they throw gems at you like here's premium currency because you know you guys are supporting us this is great you know, we're doing really well. So it, it's been really cool. The aesthetics, the story, and it's great because it's one of those games you kind of can't get burnt out on because there's only an X amount of time you can play because the in-game energy, I guess you would say, or you can you, you can explore for hours on end and it's not going to really level you up. It's not really going to do much. Like it might help you a little bit, but like to do the certain things to burn out on an item, I guess. Like, you know, you have to hunt for an item. You're like, I really want this artifact. You only get like 160 resin a day unless you, you, you know, have these other things. So it's great because it's like, I can only do this for X amount of time. I don't know if there's a way to pay for more stuff, but I don't think so. I don't think they've done that. But it's like, oh, cool. I got one, but it's okay. There's so much other stuff for me to do now. I'm going to go. Whereas, like something like Monster Hunter, you're after that one freaking item, and you can you can go burn and go out. And go and you go. can keep go and go, and that can burn you out. So it's great. There's that the limiter on a game, but without a paywall being there, without anything really being there, I'm really stoked. I'm really stoked on this game. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, um, I'm keen to give it a go. So the other, the other game I've been playing because I've only played two. Maybe three. Horror Warriors would be in there. I don't know if I played Total War. Um, yeah, no, it would have just been that then. Yeah, Total War. Uh, Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity, which is just getting better and better and better. And it was great because it was in a fantastic discussion on a Nintendo post. Ooh, ooh, that's the other thing I played. Uh, Nintendo post. Um and somebody was like, what kind of game is it? It's like, it's this. And he's like, yeah, but what does that mean? Is it like this? And I'm like, uh, n- no. And I just kind of had to keep breaking it down. It's like, but you could have just Googled any of this information. Yeah, and what's it uh, called? Did you say it... Nintendo Post? Yeah, there was a Nintendo Post on oh. Facebook. Oh, yeah, and then, okay, so, and then they're talking about You know, because no, no one ever engages in that stuff because it's like, pfft, it's like a sponsored post. It's like everyone sees yeah, right. it. Yeah, no yeah. one engages. But I was like, I'll check out what people are saying. And one person was like, I really want this to... Okay. Um, Lost your mid show. 
That's okay. Sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> Something just popped up on my screen. I was like, well, that's concerning. That's not. Um, oh, yeah. I really, somebody's like, oh, this should have been a part of, like, the ultimate timeline and this and, you know, timelines with Zelda. Yeah? Like, oh, you know, shit. canon. This, this should all be canon. And someone's like, it you is, realize they released a, they released, like, a timeline, like, an official timeline that then they shot in the foot and gave no fucks about, right? Well, part of my French. Like, after Breath of the matter. Wild, it was like, it was like, done. And people were like, oh. It's like, this is your Ocarina of Time timeline going on here. Like, this is what happens in the Age of Calamity if this happens, and this is what happens if this happens, and this is what happens if this happens. You know, we don't know what Breath of the Wild 2 is going to happen. We don't know if there's going to be an Age of Calamity 2. We don't have beaten the game yet so i can't tell you but what i do know is that they don't care nintendo don't care enough about this kind of stuff going on and it's great because it gives them the opportunity to develop things like this like, they do whatever they want you, know, you look at ages and seasons they're different timelines but then they meet up in the middle somehow like it's it's nutty it's great it's, it's fantastic do what yeah exactly do it's what typical you want. nintendo yeah, and it's fine because it's like outside, the story's great. It's just more Breath of the Wild without you know shitty mechanics. All the things that, all the things that you guys have shit on. Today. <laughs> okay, are we about to start so, shitting on something again? Yeah, uh, no. Look, I mean, no. the problem is it makes me want to play Breath of the Wild, again. and then I think about the weapon integrity, and I'm just like, ah, oh, that is. I wish I wish they would just patch that. I just I, wish they'd patch that out. Like it's I think I mentioned cool. it last time. Like now that I've started playing, like I'm I'm keen. Once this is all done, and there's a few games on my to to do list for the holidays, but I do want to go back to Breath of the Wild and give it another go. Like give it a chance. I, I may not change really... my tone because those mechanics still give me the shits, but maybe yeah. it just clicks the second time around. So I don't know. We'll see. I well, could also play it for an hour and a like, half and hate it again. Playing Genshin really made me love breath of the wild like thing but then i play genshin and i go oh yeah this has all the things that i like about zelda like that that what did you say that that it's the witcher thing and the zelda thing it's like what every 30 seconds there's something oh yeah there's something yeah there's something that catches your eye that's that tempts exactly, you to go do exactly that's exactly with genshin and the beautiful thing about that is nothing ever becomes redundant in your collection whether it's making food or whatever collecting like crystals iron or binding everything has a purpose and that's awesome whereas i think that's something zelda has to pick up on like it's like i don't want to have to hunt fifty thousand hot stepping crickets or whatever and that's yeah. the beautiful thing about warriors is those things automatically get collected like you cut smash some boxes cut some grass and it's like oh you you got this great it's like that's how it should have been done like the whole i have to cut all this grass oh now i have to hunt down this this thing running away from me like that that's the oh my god i'm shitting on breath of the wild you bastards you've corrupted me no but it's those it's those things that like were were annoying and i'm glad to see that this is all not been fixed but people have obviously seen how great that game was and gone this is great they've built on it but this can be so much better well yeah genshin pretty much stole like a lot of it <laughs> so, and immortals so like i said before like immortals still yeah, a lot of, yeah. still a lot of seen, breath of the wild as well i've seen that i've seen the people do them the like the side by side comparisons of like sword movements and everything from link to thing and it's like oh yeah. shit that yeah ubisoft that definitely is... nicked a fair bit from breath of the wild and that's fine and that's fine that's fine fair use and parody law in in, a, in this modern day and age and i think that's it I was going to play the Fire Emblem that I was gifted that we all saw Paul show off, maybe, in a post yeah. last time. Go, if you yeah. haven't, go check out the YouTube channel, the unboxing of the Fire Emblem 30th anniversary thing. That was I nice was seeing that enough. post from you that someone gifted it to you. Yeah, I was lucky enough. Like, my friend was like, I knew you were going to buy it. I'm like, I totally was going to buy it. I just, this year has flown by. I didn't even realize it was coming out. Like, I saw it. I was like, awesome. That's on my to-do list. And then it came out. I was like, and then oh, boom, shit, it's Damn, I guess I've missed it. And then, like, pfft. Here it was, <laughs> even though he, he hinted it at all years. Like, so it'll be coming around this date. I should check that date. It didn't. <laughs> like, what an idiot. But, um, yeah, I guess 
that's my one of my future games though if we want to move on to the you know yeah, what's yeah keep, keep going with that theme what, what are you going to be playing outside of fire emblem of course the original one which is nice and short compared to the other ones as well but yeah no no that that's good uh so more kenshin because uh, there's a new event in two days from this recording um monster hunter should be starting events uh so it might be back on the iceborne i'm not even gonna bother to say we're gonna play it because we're <laughs> we always say it and we never do i'm just you gonna do. load up two Gen- other characters january one you right? said that or... i'm just gonna i'm just gonna get my like i'm not even gonna stream it or whatever i'm legit just gonna hold my camera up and stream it that way <laughs> and i'll have you two just there like i'll make basic bitch characters like just like this is paul and this is Mara. we're playing together we're just gonna do this jagger ho- mission like, it's holiday <laughs> time like i've got there's six weeks for me to pick up this uh to pick up that game and get back to it so sure no 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 don't 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 there's so much to be played and like oh there is do, but if i can if i can we craft will, it some time we will play rise together probably because it's pc and nintendo oriented so though to be fair i'd imagine all three of us would play it on the switch if we were gonna yeah probably yeah um so total war warhammer 2 because i am gonna buy the original so i can play the mortal realms campaign or something like that um uh oh a a great game called colossus down i think damn i should have remembered not familiar with that one uh so i don't know if anyone's ever played agatha knife or Mechanica, uh, heard, by a. I think you've mentioned Mechanica before. Yep, yeah, great, great, fun adventure, point and click games, kind of in the spirit of uh, your old Monkey Island or whatever it's called. Oh yeah, the old point and clicks. Yeah, so that stuff. It's really cool. Uh, and they've just released a new game that they've that been was working a LucasArts for... game, wasn't it? I think so. Yes, 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 it was. I think. Oh, what a time. Um, why disney why we don't know we never will <laughs> but that all being said that all being cool uh yeah so there's not a lot because even though six weeks is a lot of time to have off in my job um genshin will take up a fair chunk total war will take up a fair chunk age of calamity will take up a fair chunk and you know when i'm bored of all that like i'll be smashing fire emblem we all know that that'll eventually lead to me to going back to three houses going probably should do the final run because i haven't done a golden beers yet so i feel really bad about that yeah, golden beers golden yes, beers golden golden beers are not dip not beers i got some bears out here and is that beers or bears bears <laughs> matter what are you gonna be playing mate uh i'll continue to play some control Good. Uh, it's, not, it's not a crazy I'll, long game either, so you'll you'll get through that. I was worried you were going to say cyberpunk, like when you said Kurt. Like my brain went, oh fuck! Like I will get back to cyberpunk when this patch comes up in January and see what has improved. They'll turn it off and wait till February. <laughs> then I'll play. Finish updating by February though. Oh, so that's shitty the internet joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, so I won't be there back there till April then, if that's the case. <laughs> Because considering that the hot fix for the last, for the recent one was 15 gig, I'm scared what the hell the January the patch is going to be. Patches. Like, I get it that they're replacing stuff that's in there, but holy shit. But then you look at the update. I know we're back on Cyberpunk, but you look at the updates, I'm thinking, this is almost a, a novel that could be turned into an ebook. Oh, there are that many. At some point. Jason Schreier will do it. And then we'll, we'll move on. Move away from side packs. Can punch it up as it is. Sorry, sorry. And then I will be playing The Last of Us. Part two. No, the first one because I haven't I can't remember oh, what just, happened yeah, in the yeah. first one. Because then I'll get onto the old Game of the Year edition of well not the edition, the game of, game the, of the year, year. twenty twenty. So then I'll get onto that eventually. When? I don't know. And then, because you two have been talking about it, I will go oh. play 20 minutes of Shitty Witcher and then turn it off again and go, this game's hot. I hate this game. <laughs> this is hot garbage. I want to love it. Just, all I do is just ride my horse for two hours and just not touch an enemy. That's right. Me That's fishing fine. in that game, I can't remember. 
Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. fishing. There is fishing. Oh, well, yeah, that's you the start case. Off well, there's, there's another five fishing. hours. The, the long cat. Oh, wait. Do you start off catching a long cat fish? Maybe play Red Dead 2 and go do some fishing. Oh, see, Red Dead 2 is one I want to get back to. One day. I'm not going to get Never to it anytime soon, though. Are we up May, to here? Uh, maybe I'll go play a, a, tr a really good first person open world shooter with lots of people in it. Grand Theft Auto 5. <laughs> the game that just won't die. The game that just won't die as a third person. And first person. With good, with good awesome. first person. So on my end, uh, Immortals, like I said, I've started, so I'll keep, I'll continue to push through that. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I also want to play, um, and they've just recently put out a uh, what like the XP bonus little microtransaction thing in there. I think it's like a five buck thing, and you get a little bit of bonus from some of the uh, XP. So I'm tempted to do that just to kind of even help push me through it that little bit quicker, so that there's no chance that I have to go and level grind between missions or anything like that. Um, I what did I, do? I didn't get that when I was playing through Odyssey originally because I was reviewing it, but then after after I finished the campaign and done the review before some of the DLC came out, I then bought that XP bonus to get myself to where I needed to be, and it was like it was fine, it was good. It saved a lot, of, it saved a lot of time, got me to where I needed to be, and then I got to play the stuff that I really wanted to play. So that was sweet. And I, I might didn't do need that because I got distracted. Yeah, because there's so much to do. I did everything else. Well, yeah, you'd never need that then in that case. Um. As I said before, Cyberpunk, like, I'll get to it when I get to it, maybe. Maybe by the time we do our next updates. It depends on what this patch is like. Uh, I'm going to play Gears 5, the Hive Busters DLC. Um, they've, it's a campaign, like, it's about a three, four-hour campaign mission that they've added in there um, based on the characters from that escape. Well, that's half the game. Yeah. Well, no, the Gears 5 was kind of big. I think it was about 12 yeah. hours. Yeah, it was because they had some little mini open world bits in it. But, um... They're oh, hey, well, what? Like not, open world in not a open world, game? Not open world like an Assassin's Creed style open world, but they were like, what's the comparison? You've played Uncharted 4, haven't you? Yes. Like, you know Uncharted how there's kind of those, like 4. you've still got point A and point B, but it's kind of open in the middle versus the versus the other Uncharted, which was a very oh, straight so line. Like the old, um, the old car scene where you drive yeah. around. Yeah, oh, okay. uh, it gets dubbed as wide linear, um, where it's, you basically just, like it's it's linear, it's point A to B, but you've got a lot of scope to do whatever you want between those two points. So um, they've yeah they've added a single player thing there based on the characters that were introduced in the the escape mode. It was it was a brand new multiplayer mode that they added co op multiplayer mode that they added in for Gears Five, and they've broken those characters out and made a little mini campaign with them. So maybe they'll connect somehow to Gears Six. I don't know, but um, I, I'm keen to give that a crack. Cause I'm a big Gears fan. I am like Damo. I'm I'm gonna maybe dip my toes into Genshin over the break, because um, I do like a JRPG, and this is winning a lot of hearts from a lot of people at the moment. So I'll give that a crack. And then the one last game, the one, JRPG. Yeah, the one. I'll get into it. The one last game that I didn't imagine I'd play at any point, but I I think I'll give it a crack over the break just to at least say I tried it, and I either hated it or didn't. Is Bug Snacks. Um, I, I was pretty negative about that game mostly because of all the internet bullshit around it but um, there's there's enough positivity coming back about the game that I'll figure I'll, I'll give it a crack myself it was a free PS Plus game so there's no harm and I'm not wasting any money it's only meant to be about 7 or 8 hours long so I'll, I'll give it a crack sometime over the break and that'd be pretty cool but um, other than that I mean like there's the, yeah, there, there's kind of Cyberpunk just on the list but it's really much, a very much a, a whenever sort of thing I'll also keep shipping away at Horror Warriors when I get chances. So, some cool games to be played over the next few months. Anything else that springs to mind in terms of games to play before we wrap things up? No. As Matto looks around Wait. to see if there's anything he's forgotten. Oh, it could be Yakuza. I do have that. Oh, yeah, I need to start I have Yakuza. Yakuza. The remastered ones. 3, 4, and 5. Yeah, I'd be, I'm, I'm keen to get into one. That I think uh, when we inevitably do our... Um, uh, New Year's what, resolutions, gaming resolutions for the oh, episode. God. Ma maybe, maybe I'll stick oh, in a Yakuza game. I don't want to know what I said last this year, last year, whatever. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch back that episode soon, and uh, I'll compile the list so that we can address it and then set some new ones, maybe more achievable ones. We'll see. So, uh, listeners, Play viewers, you've got games. something to look forward to for next year. 
Um, but on that note, we'll, we'll wrap things up there. So if you enjoyed this episode of Patch, the final one for 2020, be sure to like, share, subscribe, all the buttons down below. Hit the notification bell. That way you're alerted to every new video the moment it goes live. That includes more episodes of Patch, Player 2 Plays, Late Game Review, Gamer School, and a whole bunch more. New Gamer School coming at the very beginning of next year. Everything is edited and good to go now, finally. So I've just got to start rolling it out. It's taken about what 18 months. Uh, I'm doing all the Tomb Raiders. Oh. 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 Um, the entire Tomb Raider franchise has been pulled apart for, for the latest series of Gamer School. So... I think three part series. Go check that out. Uh, Matto. Here's the thing, right? <laughs> You're doing game of school Tomb Raider, right? Yeah. I thought to myself, I'm going to do a late game review. Have you done, to- Tomb, have you done Raider. Tomb Raider? <laughs> oh, no, nice. I'm in the process of it. Good. They, they can work together nicely. We'll, we'll just work out when yours is going to be done and we'll we'll work out. Oh, uh, there's a question mark on that. Uh, 18 months. No, it won't be 18 months. No, it's taken me 18 months to prepare that series, but. There was like a six-page script that I had to work, uh, that I had to read through and then edit and put video in with it. That's the worst thing is now I've said that. Now I've got to do it. Now you got to do it. Um, oh, yeah. uh, uh, visit the website player2.net.au for reviews, previews, opinion pieces, news, features, links to the podcast series, patched the Player 2 Pixelcast and Dev Diary. We're also on Patreon, patreon.com slash player2au. Th- uh, kicking a few bucks at the lower tiers early access, higher tiers monthly episode exclusives. And then there's Twitter. Damo, where can you be found? I tuckers talk. Matto. Matto underscore Phil. Paul James Games for me. The website is played 2AU. This is our last episode for the year, so have yourselves a very uh, safe and enjoyable break, whether you're a Christmas person or not. It's, there's always something going on at this point of the year. If nothing else, you've got a few public holidays coming up, so enjoy those. Um, and Just oh, before we go. Go for it. Just before we go. This year has been terrible, and we can all accept that. We can all admit... I mean, some of us have had a great time, lost 30 kilos, but some of us... Congratulations, by the way, Damo. And that's that's more than fine. They're not here for me. We're here for these guys. And that's the important part. Out of this year, we kept going because of the responses we get, of the views, of the things. We're totally here for you. And if you ever need to reach out and things like that, feel free. And it always makes me so happy when we do see comments rocking up on posts, tweets, likes, comments, whatever it is. Like, I know it's so small... But like, you know, for a oh, year, I mean, we're so super terrible. small. But to hit up a hit up a small group of people um, and be contributing positively to their day, I'm good with it, that. Yeah, it has absolutely made my year knowing that some of you guys got a kick out of it. If you're if you're up to this point, you're still listening. Thank you. Absolutely wonderful to have your guys' support continuing throughout the year. So. It's wonderful to have those four people listening to us. It's uh... <laughs> <laughs> And I swear My one of them shit. isn't me watching the episode back afterwards. It just no. started off with three people just sitting on a couch talking video games. And now we don't even do that. And now we can't even sit on a couch. To be fair, we made, that, we, we made that call because, before COVID and I think it's working pretty well. We've got this cool yeah, layout and everything. I think we made the right decision there. Yeah. Uh, so, like I said, enjoy the break. Damo, congratulations on the weight loss. That's awesome. I hadn't heard that number, but it's an awesome achievement. Um, everyone, thank you very much for listening. Enjoy your break, and we'll see you later.